what is going on people switch brew here and welcome back to another video so in this video what i'm going to be showing you how to do is i'm going to be showing you how you can basically set your own custom profile picture as you can see here so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the computer i'm going to show you how you can make a picture if you've got some designing software and how you can apply it to your nintendo switch console so let's get over onto the pc and let's get started so guys as you can see we're now over on the computer and what you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and download gold leaf and uh, i'll put the link to where you can get gold leaf from in the video description and you're going to also need an image that you want to set as your profile picture now, i've made a quick image here in photoshop as you can see and this is obviously just a quick image for the video and basically what i'm going to do now just to show you guys is you want to i'm going to right click on the image show more options and go to properties and go to details so the image needs to be 256 by 256 and i've got the pixels set to 72 dpi so yeah guys 256 by 256 so what you want to do now is first of all you'll want to install a gold leaf to your nintendo switch so to do this you either need to put your sd card into the computer or mount the switch using Hecate via the tool section, USB tools, I believe it is, and then SD card, and just plug in a USB-C cable, and that should mount the switch to your computer. So if I go to File Explorer and open up my Switch's SD card, as you can see here. So to install Goldleaf, what you want to do is go ahead and scroll down to your Switch folder, and just grab the NRO file and drag that into here. And as you can see, it's copied across. So once you've done that with your image file, what you want to do is I just place this in the root of my SD card. So if I drag this over and place this into here, and that has also copied across. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump, jump back across to the switch, sorry. And I'm going to show you guys how you can apply the image that you have made. So bear with me while I switch over. So guys as you can see we're now back on the nintendo switch console and what we're going to do is be setting this custom icon so the first thing you want to do is head over to the albums folder bear with me a second so once you're in your albums folder what you want to do is go ahead and load up the application called gold leaf so we'll scroll across to gold leaf press a on that and let it start up so once in Goldleaf, the first thing you want to do is scroll down to manage user accounts and press A on it. As you can see, it says no user has been selected. Would you like to select one? You just want to go ahead and press yes. And then what you want to do is go ahead and choose the profile that you want to change the custom icon on. So I'm going to obviously select my profile here. Once you get to the screen, you just want to go ahead and press the B button. And then what you want to do is scroll up to this here that says explore content and press A. Once you're in here, you want to go ahead and select SD card by pressing A again. You then want to scroll down to the image that you want to set as your custom icon. So if I go ahead and go to the bottom, as you can see the image file here, brew2.jpg, I'm just going to click A on this. And then I'm going to go ahead and press the replace user icon. As you can see, would you like to replace the icon of this account? It can be a risky action. Just go up ahead and press A on yes. And as you can see at the bottom there, this user icon was successfully set. So what you want to do now is go ahead and press the home button to get back to your main switch dashboard. And then what you want to do is go ahead and reboot the console and load back into custom firmware. So I'm gonna go up to my albums folder once again. If I scroll across in here, I have got an application called Quick Reboot. So if I load this up and go ahead and press the minus button, this is going to reboot my console back to Hecate. So I'm going to do this now, reload up the Switch console, and I'll show you guys that this custom icon has been applied. So I'm going to go ahead and press the minus icon now, and this will reboot my Nintendo Switch. So guys, as you can see, we've now rebooted the console. And if you look in the top left hand corner, we have got the new SB logo set with the red background. So if I just scroll up to that and click A, as you can see, there we go, custom icon set. So if you guys are running custom firmware on your SysNand and you are going online for whatever reason, 
which I recommend that you shouldn't be doing, but some people do anyway. I recommend do not do this due to the fact that this is obviously a custom icon and it's not an icon what's available on the Switch console. So if you do this and then end up going online, the most likelihood is you're going to get banned. So yeah, if you are using custom firmware on your Sysnand, I highly would not recommend doing this. So yeah, guys, that has just been a video on how to add a custom profile icon. If the video helps in any way, shape or form, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.